Language, Gary. Red life. Language. <laughs> I said we're live. We're not. We are. Still need a bowing high. <laughs> oh, it's nice glitchy again today. Borrow my glasses. In fact, I should go and get my glasses. I won't be able to see anything. Get used to everything agreeing mm. and the balance, not the paper and the steel paper and saying the paper you always be really. That's not what we're doing. But then we are doing it. Alright viewers, I'm only getting a drink, it's not a problem, nowhere else. Da -da. Okay, so we've got a few of you there. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit laggy today, so apologies for that, for those of you that have just, uh, just tuned in. We'll wait for a few others, see if they pop on and uh, then go from there. Got the glasses on today as well so I can see what I'm doing. See the chat. Hi David, I just saw you pop up there. Uh, right, uh, we can have an audio check as well please, just to make sure the audio is working well. So one, two, three, four, five. Boop. Okay, all good. This is where we see who's really working. All those working from home people. Uh, hi to Brian. Hi to Mick and Wayne. Probably best to chat with the uh, workshop Mick. Get, send them an email at workshop at hamradio.co.uk. Uh, and yeah, with regards to the website, Yes, there's been a few issues over the last week. Uh, they are working on it, the team, at the moment, and the use pages as well. Um, with regards to the use page, you have to kind of scroll through it now. So we're trying to get it sorted so that the most recent comes on the top as it used to do. Um, but at the moment, you're going to have to work for it, which is great because you're probably going to see stuff that you wouldn't have gone to before. So, uh, you know, look at the positives of it. You might be surprised by what you find. Okay, hi to Ricky as well, between Jobs and James as well, or Jim. How you doing? Uh, hi to Wayne. Okay, so we've got a few of you on there now, so we're taking a little look at the use equipment uh, that's in store. And if there's anything you want to see as well, whilst I'm here, I'll be your virtual shopper. And uh, I can hopefully go over to the item if it's hanging up in store or on a shelf. Okay, all right, hello Adam, how you doing? Right, let's go and look at some use. Let's have a quick drink first. Who's the chap in the background? It's Gary. That's Gary Gary. He's uh, checking out a bit of use that we've got going on soon making sure it all works, etc., etc. Uh, let's have a look, what have we got here? Oh, I know you can wideband the FT5, or your text able to wideband the ID52. No, we can't do the ID52, your warranty will be void, as per ICOM. So uh, we won't do it, easy as that. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Will Gary wave? I don't think Gary's gonna wave, Dave. Oh, Daddy, there you go. <laughs> There you go, I thought it was too busy. Everyone's really working like troopers today. So uh, they've got a lot to do. And I've got the whip out. 
Martin's trained me well with that. Right, let's have a little switcheroo. And as I said, apologies for the uh, latency on the, uh, on the video. As per usual, whenever we do a live, it, it seems to struggle for some reason. Right, where should we start? Let's start right in front of us. So, uh, got a lovely Kenwood TS590SG. A little closer look at that. Beautiful condition. So new, these are uh, just a shade under sort of 1500 pounds. Still an absolutely great radio. If you don't like all the bells and whistles of the fancy screens, etc., then the 590 is the way to go. Great receiver on these as well. And this one, as you can see, is up for triple nine. So, you know, it's a good three, four hundred pound saving on that at least. And is this one boxed? No, this one doesn't have a box, which is probably why it's at that price. But we'll come with the DC um, mic and probably the manual as well, I would have thought. And if you need a desk mic for it, we've just treated yourself to a TS890, which are in stock at the moment, by the way, which is a rarity. So if you want a TS890, call the shop as soon as possible because we are running low and they only arrived last week. So a nice little MC90, beautiful microphone, nice wide audio dynamic range on these as well so you can adjust it within the radio. Coming across, little 718, unboxed again, but 499 for a backup radio, can't be beat. Bear in mind there is no FM on these 718s. Got a 590S predecessor to the SG. As you know with these, only difference really is the uh, fact that you can change the screen colour to another colour on the SG version and it has a CW decode, whereas this one does not. Now, I don't know why this one's here. Because I love this radio. Gary says I'm a bit mental loving it, but 2 metres, SSB, 25 watts. 300 pounds. I mean, there's nothing on the market now that does this all by itself. I'm really, really surprised that that's still there. And it is in lovely condition. It really is in beautiful condition. A couple of little marks, but then when you think how old it is, I mean, it's, it looks a lot worse on camera, but it's literally just a mark there and a mark just there. I'd be very disappointed if this one doesn't go by the time we finish the stream. So that's a lovely radio to have in the shack. Proper S meter. And a nice eight pin round microphone. Okay, coming up, FTDX 3000. You all know what I think it is. Great value for money. Again, just over a thousand pounds for this. HF and 600 watts, live scope. And a great, great receiver again. A bit like the one in the 5000. FT950. Proper base station size radio. HF and 600 watts. 849. Okay, FT920. Lovely classic, this one. 600 pounds. I mean, if you only use it for a net on a Sunday, it's a lovely radio, it really is. There's no excuse at that price not to have it. And as we said, it's got a classic TS430S at 399. I believe this one's got some added extras inside as well, but uh, check the website for details on that. Nice 60 amp diamond power supply, built to last. And then we've got a 910HX for those of you catching the uh, sporadic E. So 270 and 23 sems. I think we've still got a couple of these as well. So it's, uh, as I said, great radio if you want to do your contests and etc. on VHF UHF. Some 590 again S. Nice little simple 2 meter 2980 Yesu, 125 pounds. Great for working the local net. 
Got some E-Lads. You probably would have seen Gary's uh, video on the E-Lads not long ago. Okay, hi to Dean as well, just logged on. Uh, do Yesu still honour the warranty then with a wideband mod? Um, we will do, yeah. If we do the modification, um, as our workshop is Yesu approved, and obviously we're the only ones that are Yesu approved out of the dealers, then yes, we will honour the warranty for you as long as we do it. If you get your screwdriver and solder nine out, no, we don't. All right, nice little FTM 100 DE. These are great radios. Not 179. They're like nearly 300 pounds when these were new. Okay. Got a few bits at the top here. Got a 991A at 1,000 pounds. And that one's boxed and complete. So maybe you want to shack in a box. HF6, 2 and 70, C4 FM as well as you could use System Fusion. And uh, 991 is the way to go. If you're CW crazy, MFJ 495 Kia for your older radios. Nice Daiwa meter. That's for uh, VHF and UHF. So you can buy that and buy your, uh, where's, it where's it gone, where's it gone, where's it gone, where's it gone? All the way over here, your 910. Lovely little FT840. I used to have one of these. Great sounding audio on these uh, on these old 840s. A couple of little marks on the VFO from uh, the long fingernails of its previous owner, but it has been cleaned. Nice little dummy load there. And then uh, take another little look across. A little uh, SG237 random wire tuner. Packer WM2, for those that remember. And uh, MFJ259D analyzer, which every shack should have an antenna analyzer. Okay, coming across a little Linko DR635. Dual band VHF UHF. Got a, an 891. Got a, sort of, actually, I bought about two or three of these in um, over the last couple of weeks. Just amazing radios for the money. Really good value. Really good noise reduction on these as well. It's kind of like having a base station radio with, in the car. So HF and six meters, nice bright monochrome disc, uh, display. There we go, another 910 HX with the 23 SEMS. That's our, uh, another one of our demo 590s there. So there you go, that's the price of a 590 now. Nice little TS480 sat. We sold the last ever one of those uh, a couple of weeks ago. We, we, <laughs> we were clearing the stock room and we didn't realise we had one, so that's gone. So well done to whoever grabbed the last one of those. Got a DX10 in stock as well, used. Just came in today. There we go. Lovely condition. Again, boxed and complete. And that's up at 10.99. So a couple of hundred pounds saving there. Nice little SP20 if you want to put that with it. And if you're into your receivers, scanning, etc., John will go mad that I've said scanning to an 8600 communications receiver uh, at 22. So huge saving on that, nearly 500 pounds saving. And again, that one's boxed and complete. Another little 840. Better condition this one. And again, no box with these, as we normally find with the older radios. Fancy bit of satellite work, Yesu FT847. That's at 699. And this one's boxed. There we go. 
LFT 1900E, two meter transceiver, 75 pounds. Got another one of these Uniden Bearcat scanners in now as well, 90 pounds, little desktop scanner. SP31, PS52, and another little 480 sat. And that one's boxed. Well, don't ask me to put it back in the box because you need to be an origami expert to do that. And that's quite good as well, nice little value there. A Linko DM330. Nice little power supplies, those. There we go. And I bought another 847. So we've got three 847s in. All in lovely condition. Another DX3000. We've still got the uh, 990 that's got the uh, worn out send button, as you can see there. And the tiniest of little dinks in the screen, which is that bit there, if you can see that. I don't know how he's managed to do that, but it's just got a dink there, but 6,200, I think, and 95 pounds new, 3,750. Now, it doesn't come with the box, but, you know, when you're saving nigh on two and a half grand and a little bit more, you know, it's worth a punt. You know, that's, that's the price of a, uh, well, just a little bit more than a, a new 890, and you're getting a 990. Acom 600S. Runs along beautifully if you're doing the legal limit. If you want 700Ss, I think we've got those back in stock now as well. Got an Acom 1010, if you'd prefer valves. There we go, lovely condition. I always notice with this camera that it does show up dust that I can't actually see when I'm looking at the stuff. So I have to go around every morning, I think, with the camera. Lovely FT1000 MP Mark V. Everybody loves a 1000 MP. On an absolute beaut. All fully tested by the workshop. Good for 200 watts. And that's up at 7.99. Now, I would prefer collection only on this because I don't have the original box for this. If you have to drive in, I might, you know, give you 25 pounds towards the petrol, seeing as the petrol prices are high. FTDX 1200, 7.99. And uh, 101D. 100 watts, display out, and that lovely, lovely large color screen. That's a great saving. Uh, TS870, great looking radio, the 870. Look at that design with the feet, uh, like a piece of art, that, like a bit of hi fi equipment from back in the day. And I've got a 101 MP as well if you want the 200 watts. All right, got another 101 MP here. Got an SP 101, so if you've already got your 101 and you want a speaker, 100 pounds. So you can stick that on the uh, second receiver. There we go. Lovely little 817ND, one of my favourite radios. Classic Shaw 444D. And uh, FTM 300s. That's a good saving actually, it's like 50 quid off. It's in lovely condition. PW1. Again, with any of these sort of larger uh, items, 
always give me a call, always up for a, a bit of a deal. We've got some trade-ins. I give you some good prices on trade-ins. Or if you, uh, you want to do an outright purchase, uh, I can get Martin's magic calculator out and go from there. Got an 818 ND as well. And another MC90. All right, and another little switcheroo. There we go, 891. As new condition, fully boxed at five double nine. The original FT nine nine one. Now, if you've been over the internet and panicking about the finals, etc., and all the rest, they were all sorted. It was on the very first batch, and we did every single one that went out from here. We repaired. And vice versa, Yacy were getting other radios sent in from other dealers to us, and we got those all sorted. So never an issue with these now. £800. So got a £100 saving from a, an A version to that. Now, if you're a CW fan, I know there's a few of you out there, and you're looking for a key for the collection, or if you just want to get started and you fancy a nice key, got a lovely Kent hand key in, £75. High mound manipulator. It's quite a nice couple of little marks on the top there. Very light scratches, but all fully boxed still. And then we've got a, another version. I think that's. I think that one is actually a manipulator. That one. Oh, it is that? Oh, it is. Look at that. There we go, manipulator. But twin paddle. Which is telling me that they've got this one wrong. <laughs> I'll give them a, a shout in a moment, get that changed. And then we've got this lovely, 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 here we go. Alberto Frattini J36 bug key. Never used a bug before. Well, I believe it's a skill. It really is a skill to use a bug. That's beautiful. And these are an absolute fortune brand new. A little turn around there. Now again in lovely condition. There we go. ARDV1 at triple nine. Another 891, fully boxed. And we've got a stick. Buddy pole as well at 179. Sticker's falling off that one, I believe. And a little pack com for your preppers. Right, there we go. So there's a, a brief rundown of some of the used equipment that we've got. We have got more stuff coming in. When I show you this, I'm always reluctant to show you the, uh, let's switch that around for the moment. I'm always reluctant to show you the, uh, the used equipment that's coming in because I always get bombarded with phone calls saying, oh, I want that one, I want that one. Why is it not ready? Why is it not ready? Uh, as you know, we do have to check all the used equipment that comes in. Uh, it does take some time because at the moment there's quite a lot of it coming in. And uh, yeah, but I'm going to give you a little insight so you know what is on its way. Just don't bombard me with uh, <laughs> emails and phone calls on it. Um, someone's looking at the choices between 7610 or 101D. Got an Acom 1010, lovely amp. Um, it's going to be down to you, really. I don't know what you use at the moment, but... Well, <laughs> Gary says 101D. Uh, if you want 7610s, I have just got some more in from Icom. So, um, I don't know, it depends what you want. It depends what you want from the radio. I like a 101, and, and the receiver is really hot, but the Icom user interface is really really easy to use so right let's have a little switch around i'll show you quickly from a distance so we've got all of this lot which will be booked in so we've got 705 got vr 5000 7300 some boxes i'm not going to root through uh 991 mfj 959 which is the uh, little preamp stroke tuner uh, VX170, that would no doubt be a nice little cheap handheld, nice pair of Yesu headphones. Uh, DX1200, two of those. So someone had two of those. 
Uh, got a 590S, MFJ 901B, FT2900, ICOM whole microphone, Z11 Pro, little uh, Mydale power supply there as well. If we switch it round, this is probably going to be on sale very soon. 101ZD, so that's all being checked out. It has been painted, a bit of a different colour, just to pre-warn you, but they've done a good job of it. Nice smooth paintwork on the top there, it's been professionally done. But yeah, quite like that. Uh, we've got a 746 and some uh, little bits and bobs there still to go on. I saw some mobile speakers there. Got uh, another Acom to go on. Another DX10. Got a okay. RM Linear. So they're pretty handy if you're going portable, etc. Got an 818 here hiding. I think we've got a MFJ Loop coming up. And uh, yeah, I won't do the rest. They're checking the rest there still. So, oh, so there's an insight as to what we've got that will be on the use section within the next uh, next week or so. Oh, and we've got a flex coming in, and also this, which is what Gary's working on at the moment. And you saw him in the background, which is pretty special. Little expert MB1 SDR transceiver. Absolute fortune when these were brand new. So that will be going on as well. Uh, don't forget as well, if you want a SPE linear, oh, let's pop that on there. Quick drink. Yeah, as I was saying, if you want a, an SPE linear, we do have the 1.3 back in stock with the ATU. Uh, I believe there's only one available now. So they, they all sold out over the last couple of days. Uh, so if you want one of those, give the guys a quick call. Um, still got a few Acom linears in stock. Uh, so be quick on those as well, because obviously there is delays that get in stock at the moment. We're back to that situation. Feels like a lifetime ago when it was a uh, lockdown and we were saying the same. But it is that situation again now where everything's slowing up because of component issues. So if you do see it, make sure you buy it straight away. Um, let's see if we've got any more messages. Uh, Bobby's there. How are you, Bobby? Um, just so you know, your radio's been sent, Richard said, so that's, that's on its way to you now, the ICOM. Uh, oh, talking of ICOM, rooted through the uh, stock room upstairs and found a couple of 7300s, which we hadn't booked in. So if you want a 7300, I believe there's one left out of the, the two that we found. So be very, very quick, get yourself on the website and get that ordered. And obviously it is all UK stock, as you'll see where it's all badged up, etc. cetera. Um, what else have we got? Uh, oh yeah, I've got 19700 upstairs as well. So we've ever done the stock take in the last couple of weeks. One of those. Uh, how is it to set up and install an SDR play receiver from Michael? Uh, really easy, really easy. And they've, the good thing with SDR play is if you join the forums, their support is amazing. The amount of videos that they've got just to support the products, it's worth signing up to the forums. A lot of guidance from there. Our Gary knows a lot about SDR Play as well. Um, and yeah, do it. Go for it. Great value as well, £100 for uh, an SDR receiver. Uh, what else what do we got? What do we got? Oh. Yeah, you're right, David. Yeah, just come to the showroom. Everything's on display. So uh, if, you want, if you want to have a quick play with the 7610, with the 101, come down, we'll make you a coffee. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Uh, any 897Ds? No, afraid not at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, hi to Steve as well. How you doing? G0 NIF. Anyway, that's what we got. Uh, hi to Don. This radio works well, that's good. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Uh, hi to 2 e 0 fjj uh, What's the price of the 1010? I don't know if they gave it to you. Let me have a quick look. <laughs> Uh, 14.99, 14.99, Dave. 
Hi to Steve in San Diego. I think I need to get my glasses retested again. Either that my arms aren't long enough to look and scroll. Uh, assuming the FT710 has a single antenna socket, do so a diplexer that does four on one socket and HF on the other. Uh, I think there's a Comet one, to be honest with you. I'm sure there is. Yeah, thinking about it now, I'm sure there's a, a Comet one that does a split to something like uh, four through to six, I think it is, on one side and, and HF on the other. I'll have to have a look, look at that for you, though. Um, who's excited about the 710 anyway? Who's excited about that? I've got, I've got, I've got a feeling we shouldn't have known about that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a little bit of a leak before the uh, Tokyo Ham Fest. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. I'm waiting for a new icon radio. Uh, what else have we got? Pop, 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 pop. Yep, hi, Brett. And Nigel as well. Let's see the big camera. We've done that. Uh, hi to Brian. Uh, Rob as well. Right, I think that's me caught up to date with those. Brian says he needs a new Kenwood. Yeah, we do need a new Kenwood. And every time I come on live, I always say there's going to be a new Kenwood. And one day it's going to be true. <laughs> come on. Come on, Tokyo Hamfest. Come out with something, please. Re what I really, 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 really want to see is that replacement for the TS2000. SDR base would be amazing whether they do that or not, I don't know. But um, yeah, I mean, even if they do it as a hybrid, it would be amazing. It's been a long, long time since they released that radio and it does need replacing. That with four meters thrown in as well and a dis display out would be phenomenal, really well. Um, right, two else have we got here? Hi to Serge Hayden and uh, Sugar55BG. Right, uh, before I go, is there anything that you guys want to see whilst I'm doing the live? Any products you want me to quickly grab? And uh, what power is the RM amp and does it do all the HF bands? Yes, it does do all the HF bands. Uh, power wise, it's either going to be 150 watts or 300 watts, which is RM watts. So you're probably looking at 100 watts and about 200 to maybe 225 if you want to run it linear. Um, I'll go and have a look. Give me a second. Oh. Right, so I'm back. You can hear how I'm fit I am now. Be heavy breathing for the next few moments. Probably get taken down by YouTube. Uh, 300 watts stated on the front. So 200 watts, 200 watts, 225 maybe. Uh, Serge says baby loop price, baby loop price off the top of my head, uh, 14.49 uh, ink VAT, so that's including VAT. However, as of today, uh, just arrived, we've got new stock of stealth loops, MIDI loops, and I've got some refurbished uh, stroke B stock, basically, um, baby loops back from zero. So they've all been uh, refurbished by the factory and you've got a good saving on those. So if you look under, I think it's under the B-Stock section they're gonna be on. I've uh, got a couple of those back in so you can save some money there. And obviously if you're buying outside the country, you can buy it at net price. Uh, RM say 400 watts. No, it says 300 watts on this one. It's a, I think it's a HLA 300 plus. So it's got the fans on the top to keep it cool and it probably will need that. But you, do, you really don't wanna be running that at 300 watts. <laughs> That goes by personal experience. Um, 200 watts, you'll probably be fine. It should still be pretty linear. If not, you're going to be a, a little bit splatty splatty. Uh, anything else at all you'd like to see? I mean, Gary's back. We can look at Gary if you want for 15 minutes. Uh, looking for a good mobile speaker for the 891. Uh, take a look at the MLS speakers. So either the MLS 100 or the MLS 200. Uh, either the round one or the big square one. Um, let's have a look. All right. Anything else? I can show you Manu. Where are you going, Manu? Come and say hello, Manu. 
Come and say hello. I don't think we, fe we did feature you before, didn't we? No. Hello, no, everyone. we did. We did feature you. Hopefully, you can hear me through the mic. Yeah. So, this is Manu or Emanuele. Emanuele. Yeah, good pronunciation for me this time. Yeah, I get, good. I'll get no, the Italian no pronunciations bad. No bad. really bad. <laughs> so, uh, it's one of our sales guys here. So, anything you need, especially if you're watching in Italy yeah. or you speak Italian, you don't have to be in Italy for that, do you? Yeah, absolutely. Give him a call. Yeah, give him well. a shout. Here to help. Anytime. And, uh, yeah, you don't give discounts, though, do you? No, absolutely not. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's been trained well, been trained well. but we're catching, we're going to get, get him to do a video soon, we don't know what yet. It's alright. But um, we're just trying to keep him in the background because he's got such a, such a sexy voice, huh? Yeah. Such a sexy voice. Bye guys. Thank you man. Alright, anything else at all? Anything else? Looks like you've all gone quiet now, so there's quite a few of you on as well. Only 22 thumbs up. Out of that many people, come on. Uh, you want to see the loop antenna? Yep, I can show you that. I've got one here. Obviously, it's not working indoors, but I can show you the, uh, in more detail. So bear me a sec. I've got two here, actually. We've got uh, this one that Gary's been working on. So we've got the baby loop here. And uh, Optimum kind of height really for this to operate. So it's on a nice little tripod which we sell. You can put a G450 rotator on these as well and it works really well. They're actually quite light considering the size. So beautiful craftsmanship with these. You've got your matching units. You go up. And for those that don't know, these are slightly directional. I'm getting dizzy looking up this high. Bear with me a second. Oh. There we go. Should have gone to the other one. I think the other one's lower. But uh, yeah, they are a little bit directional. So if you see that the way that this arm goes, they do kind of uh, shoot off in a figure of eight pattern, sort of elongated figure of eights. Uh, how much is the tripod? Uh, off the top of my head, I think they're, they're sort of around about fifty pounds or so, um, Tom. So just just take a look on on the website. I'm sure they're about fifty pounds or so. Talking of tripods, we do have new tripods on our JPC uh, dipoles now as well. Those portable antennas, they've just come back into stock, and they're lovely tripods. I think they're four meters high. So I'll show you the other loop, Serge. So there, I don't know if they're still doing it, but there was a powder coating option for these as well, as you can see here. Got this lovely uh, red and blue one with the white. Although I think that's a 400 euro option, which is just uh, quite a bit of money, really, <laughs> just over painted or powder or coated, I should say. Uh, Hyder VK3 uh, FTJ, I think that is. That's, these glasses are definitely aren't as good as they used to be. Um, is the 817 still available? It's not on the website. Let's find out. Let's go and uh, let's go and put them on the spot, shall we? And put them on the spot. Boop, 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 boop. Look, there's Gary there working away. Richard's in the corner. Hello, oh, Richard. Have you spoken to Richard? There is a man behind the voice. John, is the 817 on the use list that we've got down the bottom there? 817. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. He's, uh, he's going to go and take a look for you. Can you make sure it is so that um, we can do this man a cracking deal? Or alternatively, give John a call and buy it off of him now. If you ring John so that he has to answer the phone, I'll knock £25 off the price straight away. So uh, give, give John a call. Let's get him out of that chair. And uh, I'll, I'll give you a £25, 25 pound reward for making John answer the phone. So uh, that's got to be worth, uh, worth a call. Hi there. Hello. You all right? You're okay whilst we're live? Yeah, no, I'm fine, yeah. Jolly good, no problem. Did you sing or dance? 
Well, I'll do it, yeah. You do? Oh, br five. Brilliant. <laughs> right, what else have we got here? Uh, the Pepsi loop. Yep, that's the one. Uh, there we go. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, there you go. Tripods are 36. That's a good deal, actually. There you go, Wayne. You tell him. Go on, Dean. Give him a call. Give him a call. He's probably panicking now, trying to put it on the web. Quick, 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 quick. But uh, yeah, give, give him a call. It's up for 399. Give him a call. 375 delivered if you're in the UK and you're on the mainland. I can't afford to, to pay for the shipping anywhere else at the moment. <laughs> right. Anything else you want to see? I'm just having a quick scoot around, see if anything catches my eye. Uh, we've got some used handhelds, actually. I don't know, I miss those. I always miss the uh, display case. So, a quick one on here. Nice. If you're into DMR, these are an expensive radio, but not this one. Lovely little Hytera MD785G, 25 watts, or down to 10 watts if need be. If you can't be bothered to wait for an ID52, which I believe uh, is still going to be a, a month or at least two months away, got a lovely ID51E Plus in black. I've got one of these. Absolutely love the thing. The little GPS bit on the top. Wherever I go, stick it on there, go into the uh, menu, hit nearest repeater, and it brings up all the nearest repeaters for you, all listed, all preset. Literally choose a repeater, bang, away you go, start working it. And obviously works on D-Star as well. Got a uh, 785G here as well. If you've got an 857, got the separation kit there, 25 pounds. They're becoming quite hard to find now. Little rig bar blaster. FH1 keypad. So that FH1 you could buy and stick it with the FT1000. Again, lovely high tier uh, DMR radio PD785. That's quite a rarity. You've got to use the SDS100 if you're into your scanners. So do DMR, etc. And then we've got another selection of keys down here. Been buying a lot of keys in lately, actually. Um, nice little decon one there. Got another high mound. A uh, little Canadian military key there. I'm going to have to have a chat with them about cleaning that. Look at the dust in between the bits. Um, nice little World War II military key. They go for a lot of money, these. Uh, £60. £60 from us. Little uh, 16010 MFJ tuner. Nice if you're going portable and just want something light. Something that you don't care if you drop. FT3 at the back. And a little uh, Alinko DJMD5E, which I think is a dual band Alinko. And for those of you that haven't visited the shop, we've got this on permanent loan here. One of our customers lent us this, just as a talking point. Nice little spy receiver radio, you know, the MK328. Amazing bit of kit. If you come and visit the store, I might actually take that out and let you have a look at it. Got these little whole handheld headsets as well back in stock. These are great. Pretty handy in the car if you run your handheld in the car. Safety mics are back in as well. If you're into working six, got these tri band mobiles, so two. Six and seventy, or six two and seventy, I should say. A really good value. Again, forty nine to one balance are back in stock. If you're doing some antenna work, still got these. I love these. These like little bungees. So if you're attaching a DX Commander pole, such as uh, these ones here. You can use these to attach it to a fence, really easy to put on and just holds it in place. Really do like those. Okay, got some Jetfly antennas in, Chinese manufactured, based on um, other designs I'll say, but really good value. And then look, 
I work on digital. Okay. Uh, hi to uh, oh, Benny, I think that is there as well. How are you doing, Benny? Hi to Ron. Hi to Julian. Uh, we've got ATAS 120s on the way. They're a little bit delayed at the moment, but they are on their way. Uh, someone wants an Alpha Delta 4. I know, we're trying really hard to get the, uh, the Alpha Delta switches back in. Wayne wants a, a D74. Not seen a, a used one for a long time with D74s. Okay. Uh, any recommendations for an M-Fed? Just buy one of these. So if you're running 100 watts, one of these ones, little 49 to 1. If you're running a little bit more power, we do a 600 watt version. Have a chat with uh, our Richard. He is our 49 to 1 expert. And uh, look on the website as well. There's a, I think there's a video on there where he kind of goes through the do's and don'ts with it. Uh, what else have we got in for you that's different? Oh, we got one of these in. These have just come in. So a little diamond W8010, which is a HF dipole for 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. Uh, 20 meters in, well, just under 20 meters in length and handle uh, 1.2 kilowatts. So good for your 400 watts. Do we see any welts antenna switches? No, no, they always seem to vanish. Tom says that's his 950. If that was Tom's, it's definitely worth buying because he would have looked after that. Uh, loads of dummy loads are in now as well. You should always have one of those in the shack. So a little 30, uh, 30 watt version there and a 50 watt end type. I really should do is crouch down and show you that. There we go. All right, coming up from that. BB6WSs. And just got stock as well of the X30. So the X30s are back in stock. I've got N type versions of these in now as well. So that's great. And for the man that keeps saying it, yes, there's your barcode. X700H is in for high power, good for 200 watts. And then we've got a range of the Comet antennas in as well. So if you don't, um, don't want to join in piece, you can run a single piece antenna. Comets are pretty good for that. And we've not shown this for a while. Oh, John's favorite, little MGC 50s, where you just poke it through the window and uh, connect. Obviously you've got a little bit of loss there, but you know, if it gets you on the air, that's what matters. Got CPS sixes back in stock as well, which is 80 meters through to six on a vertical. Good thing with these, they've got a radial section on the bottom, so you can mount them on a pole and put them up as high as possible. All right, uh, 817 is sold, I've been told. Oh, does that mean I have to give money away? Don't, don't tell Martin, whatever you do. Um, right. Oh, straighten up a bit. There we go. I tell you, what, I'm not used to walking with these glasses on, that's for sure. All right. Looking for a radio hen? Which one? 817, just here. Was it this one? U number? 14906. 906? Or 909? Oh, that's not that one then, it'll be the other one. And there you go. Right. Thank you for that purchase, by the way. Appreciate that. Uh, Philip says he installed an X30N. You think it's going to be that one, don't you? Yeah, I thought that as well. <laughs> that's a nice radio, that 817. Very good condition. Uh, yep. As I said, Philip said he's installed an X30N and says so pretty damn good. Good little antennas. And if you don't mind going a little bit bigger, the X50 is a good choice as well. You get a little bit more game with those. Um, thank you, Dean. Uh, that was Kevin who was in the shop earlier. said that he's, 
He could dance and sing for us, but very badly. Um, right. Uh, I should loan you a crank. We should lend you a crank IR for testing and long-term review. It's not going to happen, Jimbo. It's not going to happen. <laughs> can buy one. You know, that's not a problem. Uh, Sugar Papa Zero TDL uh, wants an ID52 as well. I haven't got any. I don't have any ID52s. I don't have any ID52s. We've put our orders into ICOM now, so fingers crossed uh, they can deliver. Um, and thank you for being so patient as well with us. Uh, we do appreciate that. I know that it's a bit strange that we take deposits, etc., and all the rest before we sell, but we know what a good bunch of uh, guys and girls you are. And that you're always willing to wait for the, uh, the, good, the good service that you'll receive for the after sale, so it's not a problem. Uh, but yeah, well, as soon as we've got 52s, we'll let you know, and obviously register your interest on the website as well with the Notify Me's, etc. Uh, anybody else? Uh, Tom says his 950 has two owners, including him, and uh, it's in great shape. Not huge use, as you've got your 990, that's true. We do have a 990 from us. Um, so yeah, that's the 950 that's back there. So if you want a really well looked after 950, that's your one. Jimbo says, how was the holiday? Brilliant. Too short, obviously, but uh, couldn't get more than a week off. And uh, thank you as well to all of those that I worked whilst I was out in ZB land. Um, good, pileups were good. Not as good as they used to be, because there's uh, another operator, Kevin. I'll say hello to Kevin, by the way, ZB2GI, who's Pretty much active every day from the rock now. Back in the days uh, when I used to go with uh, and meet up with Ronnie, uh, zb 2 b and Ernie, zb 2 fk and Alan and the rest of the guys. Uh, I think there's only like six of us operating at the at the time, so everyone used to stay off air for a little while, so one person could have the pileups. But um, yeah, it was good fun. Worked loads of DX. Twenty meters was amazing into the UK. Worked a few of the guys from the AMC club. David, I know you was on there a couple of times. Um, got to work Richard, which was nice. I don't know how I heard him in the pileup, but he was there. Um, what else happened that day? I'm trying to figure out how the propagation was. It was really weird. Worked JA in the middle of work in the UK, so that was nice. Uh, and then about an hour later, everything switched, and it was uh, South America and the Caribbean for the, uh, the rest of the pileup. So it was good. Got a couple of new countries as well. Got six Yankee, which I didn't have before. Um, spoke to a couple of eight papa stations as well, uh, loads of Lima uniform stations. So, Bobby, if you'd been around, I could have worked you quite easily. Um, had a, <laughs> for those that want to know, FT450D, 100 watts, and a hex beam, which, to be honest, was probably only about 15 foot above sea level. So, I mean, it does help, obviously, having the sea within a, a few hundred meters, but yeah, it worked, worked really well. Didn't operate from the top of the rock this time, but I don't want to do everything all the time. So, maybe next time we'll uh, we go up the rock and do a bit of VHF, UHF. Right, any more questions before we go? Because I've got to do some emails. Otherwise, everyone will be moaning that I've been on YouTube rather than doing emails. Pop, pop, pop. Let's have a quick look, wait for the latency. Mm -mm -mm. Tell you what I'm going to do because it's really annoying me. I think that's made it worse. I'm sure that's made it worse. It is that one, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit better. No, it's not, is it? That's that one there. Gary? Mm. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, I'll do it. It's annoying me, that. It looks like we're on a slope. And you know the big man will be watching, so... I'll sort the rest of that out in a moment. <laughs> right. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Steve's off to his neck. K6PX. Uh, 990 or 101 MP? Good question. It's up to you really, but 101 MP for me. I'll be honest with you, probably a 101 MP. Especially at the kind of way the, the prices are at the moment. You can buy a nice 101 MP, said used, 
just over two, oh, sorry, just over three and a half grand for an MP, or if you want a D, just over two grand. So it's highly up to you. If you're going to run a linear, buy the D version, definitely. Um, I to Michael as well. Everyone's telling me to go back to work. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to work now. Thanks for taking time out of your day and logging on. I uh, really appreciate that. And uh, we're we'll doing something for the weekend. If we're going to come and join us again, is it? Was, was it on the web, John? Was it? Like they're they're all going to want to know. Was it on the web? Technically, no. It was there, but not visible. Okay. Look, look at look. That's that's the look of guilt. Where? That, that yes, there we go over there. <laughs> that's the look of but guilt. The Ken Key's gone, so please don't bring up. Oh, okay, the Ken Key has gone now. Yeah. Uh, the eight one seven. Did you have to give a discount on that eight one seven? No, Henry took the call, so he charged double. Did he? Oh, that's good. <laughs> no, that's fine. good. <laughs> right, let's leave it there. As I we said, uh, we still got a baby loops. Are they on the web, John? Yes, they're on the web. Definitely on the they're web. On the yeah. Web. yeah? You sure? Yes. Okay. So the baby loops, the reconditioned or refurbished ones, I should say, uh, back on the web uh, under the B-stop sec section. Yep. So good saving on those, actually. Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds off. Yeah, it covers the shipping. Covers really. halfway yeah. the shipping, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. Uh, brand new, full warranty on those as it stands. Uh, as I said, something for the weekend will be out tomorrow, probably around midday-ish as usual. There's a very brief video. Uh, presentation on that from myself with regarding uh, Yesu. So uh, have a quick look at that. Um, other than that, I think Gary, mm -hmm. are we going to do that video on eight one seven eight one eight next week? Yeah, fancy yeah, that? I might, I might even add a little twist to it. Oh, Gary's going to add a twist to it. So we're going to kind of revisit the eight one eight eight one seven because it's been a little while now, and it's one of my favourite radios run through some of its uh, features, what you can kind of do with it. Gary's going to add a little twist to it, so we look forward to that. He's promised now, and he's promised on air, so it's going to happen. Um, other than that, have a great day, and enjoy your weekend as well. And don't forget, if you want anything whatsoever, just give the guys a call here, and we can get it sorted for you. And again, with the used equipment, if you're up for a deal, give me a call. Take care. Bye-bye.